Today, I'm gonna to talk about why it is that men seem to get more sick from COVID than women do. So first, I'm gonna show you some data about the different death rates between men and women from different countries. It's pretty fascinating. So if you look here on the y-axis are a number of different countries from which data was available. And down here on the x-axis is the case fatality rate. That means if you have a case of COVID, what is your chance of dying? And you can see that the death rate varies significantly by country. But in every case, uh, the men represented in blue have a higher death rate than the women in pink. Here's the data I looked at in a different way. This is the death rate by age. So as you get older, the death rate increases. Now that's something we're familiar with, with COVID. What's interesting is that in every case, every decade of life, the men have a higher death rate than the women. So this is really interesting. And the question is, why? Why is there this difference between men and women? Well, some new uh, uh, research summarized very nicely in this article by uh, a scientist from Yale University has shed light on why or at least some hypotheses as to why. This appeared in Science Magazine uh, just earlier this year, in January, 2021. So here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna talk about how women and men respond differently to COVID, or at least how their immune systems respond differently. And the second thing is I'm gonna talk about the reason that women and men might be responding differently. Okay. So what does coronavirus do when it enters our body? Well, it gets into our cells and it starts replicating, making more and more copies of itself. Now, as soon as this uh, virus starts replicating in our cells, our cells do two things to help fight this virus. It release, the cells release interferon and they release cytokines and chemokines. Let's see what each of these chemicals do. When the cells release cytokines, or rather when the cell releases interferon, what this does is it makes it really hard for the virus to make more copies of itself. And this can stop the spread of the virus. Incidentally, interferon is the reason that we feel really crappy when we get a virus. It's our body responding to this virus and it makes us feel sick too. The other thing that our body does is it releases these cytokines and chemokines. What do these do? Well, they recruit other cells of the immune system to come to where the virus is. These include T cells, neutrophils, macrophages, all of these immune cells come to the infected cells and they basically kill them. And this is also a way to stop the virus from spreading and infecting healthy cells. Now, both men and women have the same general response, but there are some differences. And that's what I'm gonna talk about next. So it seems that in general, men release more cytokines and chemokines than women do. And what's the consequence of this? Well, what this does is it recruits lots more neutrophils and macrophages to the site of attack. And one might think, hey, this is a good thing. You've got more and more immune cells coming to fight this virus. The problem is that these cells also damage our own body. And if you have a lot of activity of these cells, you get so much damage to our body that it results in severe COVID. Women, on the other hand, seem to release more interferon. And what this does is it makes it hard for the virus to replicate so it controls the virus without damaging the body so much. And so this might be one reason why, why COVID is milder in women in general. Another difference between men and women is the T cells. Okay, these are cells that also can kill the virus. And for whatever reason, the T cells don't work as well in older men as they do in older women. And so because the T cells don't work as well, this might be why the virus is harder to control in older men than in older women. So I've told you some of the differences in the immune response between men and women. 
Now, the next question is, well, why are these immune responses different? What's driving this? And I would say that the two major answers are, in terms of the immune system, chromosomes and hormones. Let's talk about chromosomes first. So women, as we know, have two X chromosomes, and men have one X chromosome and y, one Y chromosome. Now, what's interesting is that in all the cells in a woman's body, one of these X chromosomes is inactivated, meaning it's shut off. The genes on, those X chrom on that X chromosome are not on. They're not, they're not producing protein. And the reason is that if both of these X chromosomes were on, this would result in um, our body not being able to function properly. There would be too much gene activity. And so because of this, one X chromosome is usually turned off. However, some genes on the X chromosome can escape being turned off. And so they are on, but maybe at a lower level. And one of the genes that seems to be turned on in women, even from this X chromosome, which is supposedly inactive, is this gene called TLR7. Why is this gene important? Well, it produces interferon. And remember, interferon is how uh, we can control the virus without damaging our body too much. Now, interestingly, TLR7 is also elevated, well, or the fact that TLR7 is elevated in some women is maybe also reason why they're more susceptible to autoimmune diseases. And I talk about this in one of my earlier videos, so check it out if you're interested. So TLR7 is sort of a double-edged sword, but at least in the um, case of COVID, it seems to be a good thing. The other big difference between men and women, of course, are hormones. Women produce much more estrogen than men do. And it turns out that estrogen has a lot of effects on the immune system. So it controls a lot of the genes in their immune cells. And one thing it does is it prevents too much cytokines from being produced. Now remember, if there are too many cytokines, you've got too many neutrophils and macrophages that come and attack the virus, but they end up damaging our own body. And it seems that estrogen kind of makes sure that this response doesn't get out of control. Interestingly, women who have experienced menopause can have more severe COVID independent of their age. And this might be because they have less estrogen in their body. And uh, you know, alternatively, high estrogen concentrations have been correlated with low disease severity, meaning those who have really high estrogen seem to have less severe disease. Now, the last uh, connection between estrogen and the immune system and COVID that I want to mention is that the receptor that the coronavirus uses to get into our cells is itself controlled by estrogen. That's pretty fascinating. Now, we don't know exactly how estrogen controls it or how this control um, can result in less severe disease in women, but it's something that we're you know, actively trying to find out. Okay, so here's the recap then. I first talked about how women respond differently to COVID than men do. And the answer here is that the women seem to have less inflammation, more interferon production and lower cytokine levels. And this results in less severe COVID. The reason that women respond differently probably has to do with the combination of their X chromosomes and genes like TLR7 and estrogen, which helps to control that immune response. All right, hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.